Okay, so this is how the seat looked before, even with the snow falling on it just now. As you can see, I've got the rear seat cowl on, and uh, I'll take that off now and show you the seat without it. But this is all going to get replaced, this cover, even this blimp on the top just now. And what I'm going to do is put an insert piece of gel that uh, Volcano has sent me, so that it makes the standard seat comfier. So hey folks and welcome back to another video and on today's video we're actually going to be recovering my Yamaha MT-10SP seat and also underneath the cover or the new cover we're actually going to put a gel insert actually into the seat. So I reached out to a company called Volcano Industries and this company is based in Italy and it took about a week to ship to me. The actual seat cover was about £130 and the gel insert was about £60. However, I think I've ordered a bit too much gel because there's enough to do two seats. So if anybody wants it, let me know. We can do a deal. So let's have a look at the seat cover. Now the seat cover comes with the accessories or little pieces, everything you need. To be able to cover the seat uh, you've got the strap now I actually took off my seat the strap when I put my uh, seat cover from pyramid plastics on so I'm going to leave the strap off so I'm not going to need that at all so I'll put it back in the box the seat hump just here that uns unbolts underneath and uh, comes off so I'll need to take that off and I'm going to recover that also with the new material uh, so let's have a look at the seat cover it's all pre-shaped and pre-cut and uh, stitched in uh, blue. So you've got two different materials. You've got uh, the padded section on the seat, which is nice. Uh, it's already padded. And I've also had embroidered in here the SP logo. Um, but you can have in this section just here, MT10 or even the Yamaha logo. Or ask them if you don't want anything to put in there. And they'll do that for you. One thing I do like is that uh, around the side they've actually put a elasticated section so it makes it uh, easier to fit and also if I look at the underside they've already built in some padding already on this so it, uh, it looks like a nice quilted effect and then you've got the, the blue stitching around the edge which matches the blue on the bike as well so yeah there's the seat cover um, it'll look a lot nicer once I've got it fitted so what I'm going to do is run through the install procedure of one of these. So if you wanted to do it yourself, it is quite easy, um, but you'll need some tools. And the tools that you're going to need are a decent staple gun with stainless steel 6mm staples. Make sure they're stainless steel staples, otherwise they'll rust once you get water on the staples. So very important point. You'll need probably a couple of pairs of pliers, one long nose, one short nose, to actually pull the old staples out, and we'll go through that shortly. Uh, you'll need a craft knife, and I've got another craft knife I'm going to get, but uh, that's one example of one where you can use a Stanley knife to actually um, dig out the seat, make it nice and smooth so you can fit the gel insert, and we'll go through that also. A socket set you're going to need to unbolt the seat hump in the middle and also if you've got the strap fitted then you'll need to take the bolts out to take your strap off. Right then let's get to it. First of all we're going to take out all the old staples from the underside of the seat and I don't know if you can see that but these staples that are on just now, I'm not sure if they're stainless steel or not but they're actually rusty. Now this bike seat is about four years old just goes to show if you use stainless steel staples then uh, they do rust as well because I can't imagine Yamaha not using stainless steel staples for doing this but you never know um, but we'll put them back with stainless steel in. Okay let's get to it and I'll switch over to the other camera now and you can see the, uh, the process from start to finish. Okay so first we need to get all these staples out of here so if you've got a decent knife what I would suggest is just go around them with a strong knife and just flick them all up to start with and then you can use a pair of pliers to pull them out. Just be careful if you're using a knife, don't need to tell you that. And if you're using one of the wife's kitchen knives, you need to be even more careful so that she doesn't know. Okay, so that's all the staples lifted. And what I need to do now is just pull them out with a pair of pliers, then take the old seat cover off. Uh, it's a bit tedious going around pulling all these out, so uh, we'll skip through this just now and come back when the seat cover's coming off. 
Just remember when you're putting all of these staples out, not to drop any on the floor and then stand up and stand on them. Done that before. So I'll try and take them all out and dispose of them. And now I just need to uh, take it off the seat. And one thing I do need to do is unbolt those two just there and that will take off the uh, the hump. So we'll do that first. I think these are 10 millimeter. Now when you take these out, just remember there's a little sleeve that you need to pull out. Don't lose that. Put those to one side nice and uh, nice and safe. And then that hump should just come off, which it does. So what we'll need to do is take these uh, staples out of here and um, we'll fit this uh, this one first, I think, because it's uh, small and easy. But yeah, we should be able to take the original seat cover off now. Now, because it's been on for four years, Mr. Staple, it's probably going to try and pull this plastic covering, or it's like cellophane, really. That's all it is, just to stop the seat getting wet, or the foam getting wet. And I think we're going to actually start to pull some of that off which I'm okay about as long as it's not too much because at the end of the day I'm gonna be actually be putting the gel insert into the seat so hopefully that part will be quite straightforward and easy but what it will do is it'll give me a comfier seat get that off okay so that's off and that's what I'm left with I just uh, actually damaged the front of the seat there so I'm gonna glue that back in place. So yeah, uh, what was I saying? If you know the channel, uh, I bought the bike four years ago. I bought a comfort seat from Yamaha, fitted it, never fitted this seat until two years ago. And I found the comfort seat from Yamaha uncomfortable. So I put this seat on, tried it for the first time and found this more comfortable, but it's not comfortable enough for long journeys. And with me doing a lot of miles and things this year, I decided that I would uh, put a new seat cover on it because I do like the Volcano seat covers but also I'm going to put a gel insert into this section just here. Now they did send me enough gel insert to be able to do the passenger seat. Now because I don't carry a passenger on the bike or not very often I'm not going to actually put a section in there but you can do. I'm only just going to put a section in here. So what I'll need to do now is mark out a section, cut out the same size on the gel which I'll show you and then I'll cut down, I think it's 10 millimeter, just where I want the gel to sit. And then we'll sit that in there before we then recover the seat. Okay, so as I've damaged the front of the seat while pulling off the old cover, um, I got some uh, multi-purpose impact glue. Now, if you're recovering seats, this is worth getting because uh, sometimes when you put gel inserts on, um, you need to put a thin cover of material over it so that you don't get any of the um, the lines or the you know the joins of where the gel insert is and the seat where you've cut out. Uh, on the new seat cover from Volcano, because it's padded, you're not going to see any any lines or anything like that. And also, it's uh, it's layered on top of the gel coat, uh, which I'll show you shortly, and it has some material on top. So. Uh, no need for that for that section, but what I'm going to do now is just repair this section with the uh, the impact glue. So I'm just going to apply glue both sides and then just stick it back on there. And then I'm going to uh, stick some of the cellophane over there so it doesn't get the seat wet. Now, if you're using your kitchen table or a table and your wife's going to be angry if you get glue all over it, make sure you put a, a plastic cover or a tablecloth so that you don't uh, don't mess it up for her. And then we'll just let that go off for three minutes and then we'll, uh, we'll stick that section back onto the foam. Okay, so while I'm waiting for that glue to go off, I've just taken the, the old cover off the, uh, the hump and I'm just going to uh, fit the new cover first. So uh, let's get this on. Now again, they've put an elasticated uh, bottom section around so it should make it a little bit easier. With my stapler, I'll start the, uh, the back section off just first. It's quite small to get a stapler in, but just like so. Okay, and there's the, uh, the hump all finished. Now, I'll just push these two sections together. What I'm going to do 
mark out the area that I want the gel insert. I'm just going to feel through the thickness of this to see where I want to put it, but really it wants to be pretty much there. I don't know, four inch back from the front, and then uh, we'll make a nice section and actually just follow the contour of where the other original seat was stuck to, and uh, I think that will uh, that will do. So let's have a look at the the gel insert. Now, like I said, I ordered too much of this stuff. By the way, all, everything comes with instructions. It's relatively easy to follow. So the gel insert, like I say, I've got probably a meter of this stuff. I would say about 12 mil deep. So when I do my cutting, I can uh, measure my knife just to make sure I get that deep on it. But um, yeah, it's, uh, it's really nice. They actually say on the instructions, use a sanding disc on a grinder to uh, get it nice and smooth. Uh, I'm not going to do that today. I've seen it actually done with just the knife because it's quite spongy gel. Um, I'm just going to try it that way for a start. If, if I have difficulties, then I'll get the grinder out and just to smooth it off a touch. Yeah, but as you can see in the picture just here, I'm not sure whether you can see that. They've taken it about three or four inch back from the front of the seat and then they've just literally put the gel insert in. Instructions. Yep, they're in English as well. It tells you all the tools you need to be able to do the job. So if I turn it over, you can see there's that heat reflective material. Also, this is the material that stops you seeing any lines between joins and things. So I think that'll be perfect. Okay, so what I've decided now to do is make a template. So I can then use this template that I cut out for the seat where I'm gonna cut, and then use the same template to cut the, the gel, and then I know that I get the correct size. What I'm gonna do is just line this up just here. Then with my marker pen, what I'm going to do is just mark out where I want the gel insert to sit. That's the section that we're going to do. It doesn't have to be perfect, but if it's in the region that you want. And then with the template in place, what I'm going to do now is just draw around so that I mark the seat like so. And then I'll take this off the seat. And then that same template, I'll cut a section of the gel and then I make sure I've got it all correct. Okay so that's the seat all marked out where I need to cut and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the edge probably first. I would recommend take your time with this bit. Okay as you can see I'm about halfway through. Um, with this type of Stanley knife it's kind of hard to get underneath. It gets easier as you get towards the middle. So it's kind of a stepped effect just at the minute and then I'll just take the, uh, the ridges off here before we finish up, but uh, yeah, it looks like I'm getting it to the right depth. Let's carry on and uh, get the rest of this done. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Yes, there's a few ridges in that, um, but that's pretty much the best I can do. I don't think it's gonna affect the uh, gel and the comfort, um, but it's the right depth. I've checked that, I've laid an insert in just now, um, but what I need to do is I need to cut this and use my stencil for that. So we're just going to overcut or, or cut oversize just at the beginning. To do that, we'll just cut basically the, the width of the pen. With it being gel, I'm sure it'll fit quite snug. Right, so if you're cutting this on a table, uh, make sure there's something underneath that you're not going to cut into your wife's kitchen table. I'm going to be very, very careful when I do this. And I'll go over from this side first. Luckily, the gel's quite easy to cut. I'm just going to cut through gently and then go through the same lines that I've got. So what I've done now, I've stuck the seat gel in, that's all secure. I've then wrapped the whole section that wasn't covered in cling film to make it waterproof. And also, as you can see, I've gone all the way around the back of the seat. And that's on purpose really to get it to uh, sit in position. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit the seat cover over the whole thing, staple it all in. And then after I can go around with a blade and just cut off the excess um, cellophane that's uh, over the back of the seat. That way I keep this section nice and protected so if it does rain the water won't penetrate through. Okay so what I've done now is I've just cleaned up the mess off the table and I've got the seat cover. What I'll do is I'll put the front two corners on first and then I'll pull it back over the back section. Now it does help with them having this elastic section it just makes it so much easier okay so we'll just snap that one 
down in place just that now what's quite nice is they've actually put a mark for the center at the front and as you can see not sure you can see just there you actually have a line which is the center of the plastic so if you can get those two aligned then uh, all should be good then we'll work back from the corners okay that's the seat all stapled up like I say I've got the cellophane on the back I just need to trim that back and then it's all waterproof so there's the seat I think it's great how it's turned out uh, like I say you didn't need to be super critical with the gel pad and the insert because this section's padded also uh, but that now feels like a real comfy seat and uh, I don't know if you can see the uh, the blue stitching as it comes out on there and also this quilting across here and then you've got a different material at the front down the side and uh, on the back just there you've also got the volcano labels uh, one either side just at the back uh, yeah but I think that looks really nice obviously I'll have my seat cowl going on the back there and I need to put the hump on now so we'll get that done and then we'll see what it looks like on the bike but uh, yeah let's trim the cellophane off first we'll fit the hump and then we'll uh, we'll go and put it on the bike and see how it looks cling film just underneath after all that's uh, that's what the Yamaha boys have put on so we'll use cling film again and we'll just uh, nip it off with the uh, the blade just now and then that's peace of mind really for me that the actual seat is waterproof and uh, no water is getting through there so what we need to do now is feel for these two holes we need to put uh, like a cross cut or if I can get a hole in there that will be great probably better with the other blade on this to be honest and we'll just feel for the center a little slit in there a little slit in there always easier taking things off than uh, putting them back and there she is one seat all finished and looking splendid so total cost 130 quid for the seat cover 65 quid for the seat gel but I didn't need to buy that much uh, if you were going to put the seat gel in the back the passenger section just here then I would recommend buy that much but if not if you just wanted it for here then I would buy half that amount and they do sell half that amount as well I believe have a look on their website I'll pop it in the description below okay so that's the seat cover fitted now if I was to fit the strap that's where it would go and as you can see it looks quite nice just there I, uh, I'm not going to be fitting the strap like I say because I've got my seat cover on so I'm going to put my uh, seat cowl over the top of there um, but yeah how's it look the new Volcano Industries seat cover. This feels like a uh, Alcantara type material just here and then you've got a, uh, a vinyl type material uh, on the top of the seat hump on the front it's the Alcantara the same. Blue stitching, got the SP in there like I say you can have the Yamaha logo you don't have to have anything in there if you don't want to or you can have MT10 whichever you want or if you want personalized your initials or anything like that and yeah just speak to Volcano Industries uh, they're an Italian company the website's in Italian and uh, I just pinged them an email and asked them what the cost was for everything to do this and I said I would make a video for this so I got a little bit of a discount but uh, I just want to be open and honest with you about that uh, would I recommend it having fitted it it's taken me about an hour to fit the product and the uh, seat gel and get that all in place I think that was the biggest job was just cutting the foam out but the rest of it was pretty straightforward like I say tools you need you need some uh, stainless steel six millimeter staples you need a good staple gun uh, a socket set with a 10 mil for the bolts underneath and you need a good Stanley knife and also a pair of pliers and uh, one of your wife's kitchen knives to uh, get those staples out 
So if you would like one of these and um, get in touch with Volcano Industries, uh, very, very nice people. It took about a week to arrive from Italy on local Royal Mail Parcel Force. The links are in the description below to uh, volcanoindustry.com is the website. They are on Facebook and Instagram and also YouTube. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to put this on YouTube because uh, I know it's not the easiest thing if you're not uh, you know, used to sort of doing seat covers and things, but Volcano Industries do make it easier with everything being a perfect fit to start with and just to put that elastic strip around the outside so that it's really easy to pull over and staple in place. I'm really looking forward to getting this on the bike. Uh, I think it will just complement it and I've been meaning to do it for a while. So uh, happy days. Let's go and see what it looks like on the bike and uh, you can give me your comments and your thoughts below in the comment section. So if you're new to the channel and you haven't already subscribed, I uh, appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button, ding that bell if you like the video and uh, keep tuned for future videos coming up. Let's go out, see it on the bike and uh, don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe and give us a like guys, it all helps the channel. So this is what it looks like on the bike still raining and that's without the seat cover so you can see there the blue stitching to match the blue on the bike which is absolutely superb right what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually put the seat cowl on and show you that too okay and there she is with the seat cowl really nice stitching just matches that blue perfectly absolutely lovely so with it trying to snow i'm going to get her back in the garage and uh, yeah, leave a comment below, let me know what you think.